Hello everyone, Gabriel John Coombs here once again. Welcome to my next project. The last time we met, we have completed Super Mario Bros. 2 for the Super Nintendo by defeating King Wart for the second time. So, we're actually going to do something a little bit different. Uh, I downloaded a lot of ROM hacks uh, since my laptop got fixed last August. So, we're actually going to be playing a ROM hack. Uh, let's open FCE UX. And we're in the wrong folder. We're going to be playing Super Mario Bros. 2 Second Run. Popular, popular ROM hack by whoever. This is a special version of Super Mario Bros. with new levels created using Eklum's This Combo View Later. If you have any suggestions or comments, you can email me at the address enclosed in the text file included in the zip. Recovery 1. Okay. So you can... So again, you can play as Mario, Luigi, Toad, or Peach. Uh, Toad for be or Peach for beginners. Toad for people with little experience. People with some experience. And the person I'm using is Mario. And Masters is Luigi. Right? Okay. So World One One. Okay. Let me just say something here. This ROM hack is a very popular ROM hack made by Recovery One, and I've seen lots of people. I have seen lots of people actually play this game as a walkthrough on YouTube. So it is kind of it is really popular, and I hope you guys will enjoy World One One. Okay. Okay, interesting. We got some. Okay, we got the levels all uh, changed up. Okay, interesting idea by Recovery One. Uh, the levels are all changed up on us. That's interesting. So yeah, very interesting. Got all the levels uh, changed up on us. I find that really interesting. The, the level is awfully easy though. And unfortunately, when it comes to me and ROM hacks, um, easy levels can negatively affect the overall rating I'll be giving this game at the end of the playthrough. But more on that later. More on that later. Just to say really quickly, yes, I am going to be doing an overall rating of the game. It's pretty much going to say, oh wow, whoops, you mean to do that. Um, but pretty much is gonna the overall rating I'm gonna be giving for this game is pretty much gonna talk about like some of the positives and negatives of the game, along with mainly some of the level designs and difficulty and everything. Um, but more on that later. I won't be worrying too much about the uh, rating right now. Okay, the rating is gonna happen after I defeat King Wart. So anyway, coming up here, and onto our bridge, we fight off against Pink Birdo. It's kind of odd how Recovery 1 didn't change the uh, design of um, the Birdos, unfortunately. But oh well. So yeah, we're done. We're done 1-1 one, at least. So let's save. With two lives remaining, which means we gotta be careful.
So world one two. Okay. Oh hi, how are you doing? That is not fair. That was not fair at all. Okay, so we got our. We still got the usual Fonto key collecting part here. Oh, hey. Hi, how are you doing? Okay. So coming in here. One ups I will be happy to take. Okay, extra life one. And we're big. Ugh. Go away. Okay. So making our way through here. We come across our next boss, which... Wait a sec. Wait, what? Green Birdo. You're not supposed to be here. That does provide the game a bit of a challenge, though, so I'm pleased by it. We get to fight Green Birdo in 1-2 instead of 5-1. That's pretty... That's pretty amazing. And it will not affect the game in a negative way at all. Okay, that was interesting. That was very interesting. And I was very impressed at the fact of... Uh, I was very impressed that uh, that happened. I was very impressed that we got to fight Green Bird up. That will positively affect my overall rating on the game at the end of the playthrough. Positively. Very impressed. I'm I'm quite impressed by this. I really am. Recovery one, you are doing a good job so far. Recovery one, you're doing a good job of impressing me right now. There are too many enemies. Uh, I won't be raiding the enemies by chance. The more enemies there are in my eyes, the better anyway, so. Okay, that sucked. I'm staying with two lives. I cannot do this with one live, I don't think. I was told by... Uh, uh, YouTubers who's actually did a playthrough of this, I was told this is supposed to be a really challenging ROM hack. So, yeah, I won't be doing... I won't be doing this on One Life, I'm sorry. And I believe YouTubers when they say this could be challenging. Case in point, we just fought Green Birdo a few minutes ago. Green Birdo, we're not supposed to fight until... Uh, World 5. Ah. Okay, so now what? Okay. Okay, so this is going to require quite a bit of practice here. Expect lots and lots of deaths out of this. Oh, I wanted to be big going through that.
But I believe, uh, I do believe YouTubers when they say this is going to be a challenging ROM hack. The case in point being the fact that we fought Green Birdo a little while, a few months ago. Provided we fought Green Birdo, I was very impressed about. And will positively affect the overall rating later on. Okay. So, we're at our building now. So, let's go in. Uh, we're actually going to save right here because we could find a one-up at any point here. Okay. So, oh wait, what? Do we have a key in, in the original 1-3 from, in the original 1-3? I don't, oh yes we did, yes that's right. You still gotta have the key there, it just, it's not the same, it's different obviously, it's a ROM hack. This is a ROM hack, everything is different. I don't know when I'm going to get this uploaded, but right now I am recording this at 12 o'clock midnight. I am extremely tired. I cannot believe I died. I am tired out of my mind. And I'm here recording a video for you guys. Okay. My apologies if you, uh, my apologies if you guys see this part one too many times. I'm dying too many times. That's the only problem with that. Okay, well that worked, but I hit the wrong button and I crouched. Okay, so it's quite interesting. Got lots of spikes everywhere for like ultimate death or whatever. Yeah, in these rooms you don't have to stay long. You just I clicked the throw button and it didn't throw. But anyway, um Pretty much, yeah, it's, you don't have to stay in the rooms, huh? Okay, I don't have to go through that little spike part again if I save right here. I so threw that, but I threw it at the wrong time. Okay, that worked. I cannot believe it did, but it worked. Wait, what? Oh my god. And I threw it at the wrong time. I actually threw it at the right time the first time. This is a real challenging hack. Impressive. Recovery 1 has is, is been impressing me so far. I'm thoroughly impressed by this ROM hack. Oh yes sirree, I am thoroughly impressed by this ROM hack. Recovery 1, you are impressing me, like, a lot. We're taking it one step at a time. We're taking it one step at a time. 
Ah, oh, okay, so we can't kill them. Okay. Okay, so we can't kill you because you're, like, the ultimate ride that I need. Okay. Okay, now... Okay, you're gonna be tricky to get by. You are going to be tricky to get by without dying. Yeah, without dying, you're gonna be very tricky to get past. Okay, so you can't do that either. So you can't do that. Nope. I understand how hard this can be. And that didn't work. I wasn't even I didn't even think about the spikes then. Okay. Again, taking this one step at a time. Oh, I didn't mean to let go of that. Okay. Okay, you're also going to be tricky to get past. My apologies for saving so much. My apologies on saving so much. Okay. I'm gonna have to time that correctly. Okay. Whoops. So saving it again. Okay, I'm gonna need to run a little ways there. Okay. Wait, what? Oh, you goes over the doors and everything. Okay, I wouldn't even checking that. Okay, so wait for him to go over. Alright, so we're on to the first boss of the game. Or the first world boss, which we all know who that is. Yeah, we kind of knew that was going to happen. And that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. I cannot afford to do this on one life.
There's one hit. Come here, Mauser. Give me your give me your bombs. Oh, hi. I have to find a way around this somehow. I don't know how, but again, can't afford to do this on one life. So My apologies for not talking, guys. I'm focused on trying to beat Mauser without dying, of course. But overall, this is a pretty solid game, I will admit. I'm thoroughly impressed so far. I'm impressed so far, and this is only the first world, so... Things could get better, or they could get worse. <laughs> Half hour long video, don't be surprised. Okay. I finally think, I finally figured out how to beat this guy in this hack. Two. One more hit. Okay, too far. Three. Alright. So that's it for now. It's a pretty impressive game so far, I admit. Um, so that's it for now. In the next video, we will continue on with World 2. So until then, this is Gabriel Coombs saying adios, amigos.